A very good evening to everyone present here. I'm Suki, your host for this evening. As you all look forward to this enthralling conversation where you delve into the philosophies of a new fine age art and its curatorial vision, I take this opportunity to introduce our guest for this evening, Gormini Das. Since 2016, Mr. Das has been curating and managing Dot Line Space Art Foundation and Nine Fish Art Gallery. He has curated nearly 20 plus exhibitions, including ones on veteran abstractionist Prabhakar Kotte, Manohar Matre, Sudhara Kongwe, Salamat Hussain, Milvan Shahid, and many more. He also has created scholarship programs like Art Clarify and Clay Festivals, which are being held annually. While managing, curating, and reviving art in multifarious ways, Mr. Das strongly believes that art should serve both purposes, aesthetics and politics. He continues to strike his goal of nurturing local artists from around the country and sustaining old crafts, along with making this aesthetic market space known for its synergistic philosophies. It's a great honor to have you here, sir, and I welcome you for this conversation this evening with our gallerist and design journalist, Savita Hira. MAP has been heading gallery production for almost three decades. She is also the co-founder and editor of IndiaArtAndDesign.com, e-magazine on art, design, and architecture. Savita ma'am, I would like to invite you to take the conversation ahead from her. Thank you, Shruti. Uh, thank you so much for that. A uh, very warm welcome, Gormani, once again. Uh, we will... Uh, now, it's a very interesting topic that we are looking at today, where we're going to be talking about uh, certain new uh, practices that have uh, very slowly but very surely crept into the art field. Now, uh, what I would try to start with is that uh, as a curator, a curator is a very important link uh, where the field of art is concerned because it, 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 he is the link between uh, what... Um, artists should actually uh, depict in art and how art connects with the audiences. So he plays a very uh, a dual, uh, dually responsible role uh, where he's responsible for giving something meaningful to the audiences and drawing out that meaningful stuff from the artists. So in this, he also shapes opinion, He uh, uh, whether it's social, cultural, political, so there's a lot of, uh, you know, uh, layers that uh, the curator actually uh, brings into his exhibition, brings out through art and influences the audiences. So as a curator, a Garmani, with a lot of uh, years behind you, uh, studying, observing, and of course, you've got into the uh, business of art as you have started it uh, only a few years ago. That way you're a neonate, but uh, being a very, uh, you know, uh, aware person, uh, what would you say is, uh, how would you describe a common day in your life as a curator? What What is the kind of routine that you go through? Okay, first of all, uh, Shruti, thank you so much. And, uh, you know, very, very uh, interesting. Well, uh, this thing, introduction, thank you so much. Uh, Ma'am, uh, thank you so much for inviting me on board. I mean, I don't know how much I would be able to take, but uh, I'm just uh, consider that, okay, a young practicing curator is going to share his journey. Let us take it that way. Uh, I'd be more comfortable in that sense. Well, um, to answer your question that what is the uh, daily thing that I would face? Okay. Uh, it's very interesting. Uh, at the same time, I think uh, it's coming up with a lot of learning every day. Uh, on a I meet I mean I get random calls of course the office has a basic procedure where okay but someone is calling that send your email portfolio they send it but what happens is after that uh, those piles up you know and suddenly I would see that you know people are ringing up and they said oh we wanted to meet you you asked for your portfolio so you have never got back uh, so I said yeah sure no problem we'll come back to you now what happens is uh, suddenly uh, Oh, uh, I mean, I'm coming to office every day and I get to meet like young painter across the globe. 
you know that's more interesting it's not only from mumbai because bombay is also one city where people think it's a city of not only culturally or you get more opportunity but overall it's a city of dream that is what i mean the one who's from mumbai they know it's a city of dream so they come to me probably with a dream sort of an idea where that okay we would show our work and maybe we'd get a chance to showcase our work without knowing the the actually the other side of the art world that how does it function now like as a as a this is like a, a changing area where like you know how would a gallery sort of curator look at it so i usually try and interact with them in a manner where okay because i myself also train into formal art school so i try to talk to them as an artist okay how does it work you know what are you doing uh, what do you feel kya hota is tarah ka cheez where is your studio is there a studio no no we practice it from home but doing through uh, observing and listening from them actually it becomes a great learning to me that i i genuinely see that the kind of potential artists is practicing this medium that but i see uh, artists i meet artists from chatisgarh they are still practicing in organic medium they're still practicing with a very conventional ways of painting and the kind of uh, modern is the kind of enthusiasm the kind of uh, i should not say something called content in art but something like that that the art the practice they have which is far more deeply rooted into their own ideology own being and into their own cultural narrative so yes my day begins with a great learning with a lot of love you know because sometimes also i encounter people like uh, you do not understand it hence you don't promote this kind of art uh, i keep quiet because it's also wonderful learning to not know what you don't know <laughs> so that's so that's how i i, I begin my day so how how do you select people how do you select an artist or uh, shall we say how do you uh, what is the beginning how do you select a theme that you want to curate is it the artist that inspires you do you draw inspiration from certain objects how does it work maybe you can tell us a little bit about your last exhibition that you curated as an example mostly uh, mostly see there are two ways i i find it uh, one is that of course uh, some artwork that inspires you so much that you always want to be around them and it's uh, probably like for an example like uh, some artists that i i really want to be with them i want to grow with them like you know some of them are like for an example the country's biggest example you would say like kolte you know uh, it's it's more than kolte's painting i think kolte's uh, the way he paints uh, that the temperament that enigmatic character uh like you know i would name like even like a photographer like pablo or a sudara or you know so that that sort of you know uh one thing that you want to grow with on the other hand uh me being from painting field itself on the other hand me being as a painter you know you form your own ways of living see painting is nothing but it yourself i mean there are many reference uh, आप जैसे हो ना पेंटिंग उसी तरह होता है आप जिस तरीके के बातें करते हैं आप आपको जिस तरह का जिंदगी पसंद है ना आपको ठीक उसी तरह का आर्टिस्ट भी पसंद आने लगता है उनके काम पसंद आते हैं एटलीस्ट टू मी इन माय ओपिनियन आई आई एम ग्रोइंग अप लाइक दैट सो देयर आर सर्टेन वर्क्स दैट आई एम इंस्पायर्ड विथ आई हैव ऑलवेज बीन वांटिंग टू वर्क विद दैट आई गो आफ्टर देम आई ट्राई टू बी विद देम एंड एंड दैट प्रोसेस इज वेरी स्लो अगेन लाइक इट टुक मी ऑलमोस्ट लाइक 4 टू 5 इयर्स टू परशू कोलते सर आई मेट हिम इन 2016 Uh, उनको जब मैंने पहली बार कैंप किया मैंने उनको इनवाइट किया उसके बाद मैंने उनसे uh, दोस्ती तो नहीं कर पाया एक्चुअली एक तरह से उनसे बहुत uh, प्यार जैसा हो गया लाइक like, उनके प्रोसेस से यू नो इट इट बिकेम बियॉन्ड फ्रेंडशिप सो इट हैपेंड विद मोस्ट ऑफ माय आर्टिस्ट सो इट्स अ रिलेशनशिप दैट यू ग्रो एंड देन यू ट्राई टू ब्रिंग देम टू ए स्पेस वेयर यू बिकम ए क्यूरेटर and on the other end like in a very young example i would give like a group like turiya or group artists like shansha mittal or a salamat husain a very young photographer you know there you try to find yourself you know in their work the way they are talking what they are trying to work around and so the thing is when you find yourself what you believe what is your strong narratives and visual what you believe as in this this could be art i mean there are thousands of people there are thousands of craftsmen there are thousands of skillful people are doing but you don't accept everything as art because of course there is certain ideological matter or something that holds you mujhe kai baar aisa lagta hai ki koi koi artist aise hote na you meet them for the first time you see their work and you get into their process of their work so like for an example from turiya group there is one artist called sandeep bobde i really believed in his process 
and his process brought those abstraction to me and the same way turiya worked with for me so uh, that's how like i mean at least i would choose this two way there is no uh, and i don't like to essentially incorporate the idea of gallery that this will sell more this will of course that needs to be looked after but uh, i think curator is becoming a curator is also very challenging because first of all you are trying to write something uh, which is uh, absolutely you do not even know who are the audience first of all because you can't set your audience and then create a show you know that probably that doesn't happen in any art form you are creating your art work you are creating your stage and then you are expecting the audience come and you are and you expect only the reaction of audience you don't even expect the uh, appreciation what is the takeaway of the audience you are expecting the reaction of the audience so you could further develop into it and build it even more better or uh, to build it a greater offering to the audience who are unknown to you so the whole game is into the unknown factor so i look at it this way that one i i really am fond of i i'm influenced i uh, i mean i use this word as an influence mujhe bilkul kai log bolte nahi itna influence to nahi hona chahiye life mein kyun nahi hoga i mean mere se pehle 400 saal ki itihas hai na aap aise to aag ban nahi kar sakte you know i mean i've just come back to from uh, like to seeing the museum in europe i've seen shagal's work i've seen miro's work i've seen rothko's work how can you not see how can you not remember this work this is going to be with you but yes how do you deal with that work that strong narratives like uh, it's a very funny thing you know somebody asked why you were so serious in front of shagal's painting i said that visual was so strong i could not dare to do anything else so all i could hold myself tight and just look at the painting so you know i think there is a lot of indian painter and like master they gave me that sort of uh, uh, you know wife or the strength to being with them to look at them so that one way i kept working with the senior one and having the blessings of those senior painter and their conversation as a guidance i try to uh, nurture and try to build a form, friendship with the younger lord who are my age group and grow with them so i don't know where it will gonna take me but uh, it's a wonderful space to be in i feel definitely and it's the interaction that makes you grow Uh, how would you weave in selling with curating? Is selling as important a uh, uh, role that comes into the curator's purview, or you tell me? Oh, I uh, well personally, I don't uh, much look into the selling in terms of, but yes, sell is important when you are. Uh, it's a basic, you know, when an artist is exp- showing an exhibition at your place. Uh, there are see everything cost today like be it bihar be it mumbai or any part of ramgarh in any part of india rupya to lagta hai saman khareedne aur jab log itne kuch karne ke baad yahan aate hain obviously ek expectation sadharan apeksha ye hoti hai ki aur mere kaam ek do kaam bik jaye mujhe uh, at least mera manyata itna hai ki uh, jahan tak aapka kaam chale aapko paisa mil raha hai aap utna hi soch rakhe isse zyada mat kare kyunki fir aap mein expectation build hoga expectation build hote hi aapka intellectuality ki taraf aap kam badhenge so as a curator i would only push the sale towards the limit where that can help the artist to grow and sell uh, only this much till it can support the artist uh, self sufficiently independently other than uh, the senior works it's it's a big market everybody is aware bahut bikte aap koi bhi masters ka work you know it it sells everywhere it's only the younger lot who are in struggle but that's again a, i would say the younger lot is in struggle because of their own mistakes you know uh, i i deal with them no they come they would uh, show me a work and if i ask i mean i have collected very little bit of artwork if i ask them how do you price your work they would come up with absurd price you know and they would give example look at this uh, gaitonde's abstraction is 40 cr i am doing the same you know it's but okay i'm i'm asking only 0.1% which is like 1 lakh you know they mathematically they could be correct but the fact that how there is no explanation to how to tease them so i feel the academy should take a serious intervention into that that how do you price your work how do you sell your work aap kis tarike se baat karte ye bahut zaruri hai hame wo sab nahi sikhaye jate actually hame you know i think indian academy teaches us how to be a good painter which i don't know how much they are successful i cannot claim it completely mai khud art school gaya hu but mujhe lagta hai ki hame behtar insaan banane ki training ho to we will do good in any field we may not remain as painter but 
एटलीस्ट हमें अच्छे सोचने के तरीके देने चाहिए हमें इतना एटलीस्ट दैट मच एंड आई आई वाज ब्लेस्ड ऑनेस्टली मुझे हमेशा अच्छे टीचर मिले बचपन से अभी तक हमेशा अच्छे टीचर मिले मैं हमेशा अच्छे लोगों से मिलता रहता आई मीन कोई एवरीबडी इनफैक्ट माय रिसेंट मीटिंग टू यू एंड ललित सर वाज इज आल्सो अ ग्रेट ब्लेसिंग आई मीन आई आई थिंक दिस इज व्हाट इज द ग्रेटेस्ट आई हैव एवर गॉट इन माय लाइफ वी लर्न वी लर्न वी लर्न विद एवरी मीटिंग वी लर्न विद एवरी पर्सन uh yeah. coming back to uh, you as a curator now whatever you're saying is very much on the conventional lines you know of how a curator operates but today you're in a space which is highly uh, technology driven you have different yeah. methods of uh, presentation you have different methods of propagating the exhibition uh, of you know reaching out to uh, buyers so how have you uh, moved in that direction are you a lot on the social media i mean keeping the new age tools in mind how do you move well i certainly agree see you can't avoid today the social media influence that consumes a lot of energy that specifically that's consuming the age group up to all the way between 25 to maybe 50 or 60 that's a vast market the world is moving fast i am there i'm very much there but at the same time uh because uh, i i still believe into sort of an a uh, physical kind of you know interaction or a kind of an organic development with a buyer one to one uh, so maybe i use the technology media to invite them through email through social media you know uh, trying to do a, a highly uh, sort of influential post on social media putting it out there to reach all the unknowns but once i get to meet them i think i would uh, more take it as a organically developing a relationship with them make them a serious uh, kind of you know art lover or a patrons to the gallery and slowly slowly uh, advise them to start investing i have never dealt with anyone at least that it didn't happen till now today that i met somebody at one when i sold a work that never happened every then that uh, those collector ended up becoming friends with me and on a very regular basis actually i go out with sort of dinner or like some other kind of conversation i'm meeting them meeting them talking about books and libraries and i think that became a very stronger relationship i i feel that's a most go, a good relation but of course do not one should not avoid digital media please go ahead with it but understand the pros and cons of it you know one should not just take it too seriously then they forget what needs to be done rest what are the other tools that you have seen in the new new age i mean apart from paintings and sculptures you also uh, see a lot of video installations uh, interactive public art installations do you also curate such uh, work sorry sorry yeah i sorry i missed the uh, uh, okay I, i will repeat i said in addition to paintings sculptures and uh, you know uh, having interactions with the artists pro- propagating those interactions during exhibitions do you also deal with new media art video installations uh, interactive public art installations do you also uh, have you also curated such things uh not really curated as a as a serious form as of now but in my art certified programs i do get uh, entries of lot of uh, new media something like installation video art and all uh, i do get there is uh, no doubt because everything is moving now people feel sab kuch try karna chahiye you know an artist are very curious you know uh, i remember one artist i met wo computer ke motherboards hote hain green color ke you know wo sab theke ja rahe the he say look sir i have recycle they also have some sort of you know revolutionary idea because uh, some artist thing i'm cleaning uh, wonderful i i i ex- i enjoy those but i am personally uh, not been able to place myself into the new media except uh, the video art i mean sort of video graphs and all because i think i still look at it is in the form of film like form of a movie form of a narratives which is moving and sort of taking you through it forward but other than i think the new media no i, I am not uh, yeah. then the textile if people consider textile is a new media because a lot going on with the textile they are working with textile photographs then yes i mean uh, those are the things but again uh, all of the new media that i am dealing with has a conventional roots to their earlier practices like um, uh, i don't know if you uh, whoever here i would request them to come here to see coltesas to work with us in the nine fish premises 
he usually painted on paper and canvases but once we have uh, found he came and he was walking around the premises and he said ke uh, ha ka like you know those kadai and then he said ke ha ka i said these are the kadai where those food used to be cooked for the you know uh, you know during the royalty time you know those big vessels he said ke okay let me try do something so he did it now that could be an extremely new media for kolte because it's nothing like that what he was working with it was it was completely a two di- it's a three dimensional surface it has a different sort of light and shades and uh, i would say that uh, he also added textile he added prints and everything so <coughs> i think uh, or it also depends that what do we really claim as new media performance is a very new media but if you look at the historical relevance to it the theater is a very Uh, one of those ancient practice to convey ideas and to bring messages to the society so the contemporary theater is also interesting but it depends i'm not much into that but i try to keep it up i don't want to feel like i'm outdated <laughs> what about experimental works when artists come up with experiments with uh, you know sticking jute on canvas sticking smaller pieces of canvas on a larger canvas uh, they play they play a lot with different materials so how do you look at experiment i um, uh, i simply first uh, not advise i ask them okay, have you consulted your work with some sort of art historian or the conservator or the you know, restoration guy so they asked me okay, why do you think so i said nee um, the simple such is a, uh, the work is very beautiful because each material and also in a postmodern context you see the you you are trying to find the meaning within the material you are no longer looking for a content in that perspective it's a wonderful work but the fact that as a gallery so as a curator suppose i am doing some work a collector comes and work and ask me is there the same moment what is the life of this work so for me it's it just in one step you know i'm saying okay it's good work okay you take go away but if the artist is intent to retain within that sort of practice then the artist must know the material well and while knowing the material i feel they would discover many more things that is beyond their uh, sort of you know what they haven't even thought of so i simply ask them do you consult your work how do you find like uh, for an example uh, i forgot his name is shown by nature mod he goes he takes out those uh, tina like aluminum patra from the jhopri and all he uses there is a sufficient life but while doing that research he realized that what he is trying to bring the moment you bring a cloth of a old person you are not only bringing the old textile you are also bringing the uh, lived experience of that person but how do you uh, convert into an artwork how does one accept it as an artwork your exercise has to be there so i feel the artist should be more vigilant there that what they are dealing with you know and in that circumstances there some artists came to me i really felt good i think they are highly highly intelligent they know what they are moving uh, an artist i promote called rashish chohan from baroda uh, wo purane tina ka jo tel ka dabbe hote usko patre ko kaat ke creates landscape beautiful landscape but the moment you look at the landscape you know what does it it's kind of a na, bahut acha like history the age of the tina at the same time the landscape is building it comes along it builds a poetics and as a matter of fact in art i think the poetics does play an important role i mean whether you perform or you create there has to be a kind of a, a romantic idea about what you say without saying and that's what carries people you know forward so i try to look at that even in a new media have you also worked with children are you comfortable working with child art uh i worked as in like i uh, see i uh, i have personally like my family has uh, schools in northeast there are a lot of uh, child art school i am being personally i have been part of i am currently the secretary of the cfsc it's a, under the ministry of culture it's a wing where we promote the child art education i have been into the part of syllabus committee so i extensively worked with the syllabus and i but i haven't personally been able to exercise the result of it it's been 3 4 years also we had the pandemic uh but very soon somewhere in august september i'm going to review the result of uh, what has happened so the cfsc has set up about 500 school across india to revive and to see how does the children is working so that's going to be my interesting area because i personally and very closely work with the syllabus like where we have build activity nothing like a subject 
the idea of the ncrt that when i proposed when they invited me what i said okay, let us develop the activity uh, not a subject we don't want to uh, want to give children or any school why don't you paint landscape no build an activity if in the manner of activity children feel like painting a landscape take it no problem but let us not intend to tell them that you have to do a landscape because we're trying to experiment uh, maybe in future if i ever get a chance i will definitely share with you all that's nice but they are amazing particular, <laughs> children are amazing okay any particular uh, niche that uh, you pursue you like uh, abstracts or figurative and how does that showcase in uh, the kind of exhibition that you curate personally i think i'm more towards the abstraction because uh, uh, it has been my journey i never knew uh, i used to paint highly realistic artworks even if my academics are like extreme realism and a lot of political representation uh, but suddenly finding form i became formless so i don't know how the transition happened in my life but i think now i uh, enjoy and i love being around the area of abstraction where uh, it's purely about the material and it's also a volume i'm talking about like you know the green is no longer just green it's it's a large volume it's a mass that you are you are you are talking a substance out of a big green uh, uh, i mean i don't know uh, there would be few in this world who look at rothko's work and say oh I, i felt foolish myself i mean i thought you know what am i doing with my life looking at rothko you know that happened that happened with every master with so, so I, i think uh, i'm more towards an abstraction but yes uh representational work figurative works i do appreciate a lot i also collect but uh, i think the current contemporary figurative are uh, very politically advised i would say the artist thinks i'm changing everything through my work but the work changes the artist actually on the contrary so uh, i i feel that i'm happy in that my area of abstraction i think even the artist is sometimes not aware how much his work is influencing him a lot of times uh, it just happens because for him it's a daily thing it's only when we as gallerists and curators look into this aspect that we realize that there is a very very close connect between the development of his persona and his work so that's how it goes uh can you relate to us a, a very positive uh, memory that you have maybe an interaction with an artist maybe a, a self revelation that you came across while seeing a work something I, very positive that has yeah. had a positive impact on you mm, there are many i mean there are many i don't know i mean there are so many in my life but uh, i mean i would say one or two like uh, once i was in college i, I was studying in college and i uh, happened to meet a manlik sir and then uh, he told me one thing then i was asking question and actually i did not ask him my friend asked him a question and all of us were uh, you know when we are all young you know we are supposed to be stupid and lost we ask various question without realizing how it would come out and yet we felt that maybe that was a stupid question so manlik sir told ke बाला प्रश्न कभी चुकी उत्तर सो आई थिंक दैट वन वर्ड रियली सॉर्ट ऑफ यू नो गॉट इन टू काइंड ऑफ माई लाइफ प्रैक्टिस दैट यू नो इट्स इम्पोर्टेंट टू हैव क्वेश्चन एंड यू डोंट थिंक अबाउट द क्वेश्चन हाउ इट वॉज फॉर्म एंड वाई बट दंसर विल कीप चेंजिंग बिकॉज द सिचुएशन कीप्स चेंजिंग नो एंड एवरी सिचुएशन देर विल बी एन आंसर विच विल रियली टेक यू टूवर्ड्स मोर क्लोजर वॉट यू आर सर्चिंग फॉर an interaction with kolte sir you know when i was filming him you know uh, it's very strange you know this uh, you know kolte being kolte is very uh, sometimes he could be really rude you know sometimes he's extremely loving and that's that is character that's the phenomena of kolte so and that was the my early days to learn marathi so my when i was shooting him suddenly i asked him that you know sir what it is what makes you really keep doing it like 50 years we are come on rest and i have a very contemporary guy i said told they don't you think you should rest in that kind of you know you know young energy and then he said you know uh, he said it in english actually said it in marathi but i don't remember the exact marathi but some of the gist of the what he said is that you know i don't uh, see and paint i paint and i see 
so that statement uh, had a hell impact on me ke you know uh, if you see and paint no you only see what you are painting but if you are able to see what, after painting you are able to see the universe and you know okay i have only I've, out of that whole universe itna hi to kiya maine so uh, there are many like you know i have also met lot of you know uh, european artists i have worked with also this thing uh, but important thing like what my dad told me as in he is not an artist but uh, this thing his idea of being happy is that uh, he said if you think you are an artist just do don't waste your time thinking about painting just paint uh, and that i think uh, my father is a different kind of guy completely like nothing to do with art he's been a collector but i've never done this thing but when he said that uh, don't waste your time thinking about painting you know just paint and i recently used that quote as one of my recent interview where i said i no longer think about painting i only paint because uh, kai baar aisa lagta hai mushkil hota hai yaar aap soch soch ke na aap soch soch ke cheeze shayad kharab kar sakte ho acha nahi kar sakte acha sochna chahiye but acche sochne se bhi ek acha kaam mujhe aisa lagta hai ki aap paint kar lo jaake ya sculpture bana lo uh, get into you know i have a ceramic studio sometimes if i am uh, i just get into studio not thinking about any form just do it so those are like the most positive interaction i had uh, plus my academic teachers as i told you they all of them were i think all of them pushed me towards a, more as a uh, you know just understand what you want things you will find your ways so that's how it helped me to come I here think, all the way i think that is what makes you say that uh, you're a thinking doer <laughs> you know when you describe yourself and you talk about the passion with which you work that, that that's how it comes that you're a thinking doer acha one more thing uh, as a curator uh, another new thing that uh, it's not very new it has been there always but uh, now it is more into the limelight that you get into collaborations with other yeah. organizations with institutions with galleries so are you into any of those i do i mean i do like to collaborate with people uh, if one has a uh, thing to do i mean but of course i mean i receive multiple proposal for the collaboration uh, right from also i mean the dot line space art foundation and the venue nine fish we run it as a multidisciplinary space so you would see some season we are running theater now on 30th june we are doing raising some fund for uh, you know cancer patients uh, most of the works are done by the cancer patient actually some of them are alive some of them are no longer and some of them has overcome this thing uh, i do those collaboration which is uh, really uh, more than meaningful those could be my living experience in my lifetime i don't want to miss out on them i do uh, and i'm open to any sorts of collaboration anyone is coming up zarur aaye aap koi proposal leke aaye it has to be a uh once in a lifetime lived experience so most of my show that the way i curate uh up divare same hote i mean i can't change the civil or uh, artist structure of it but main koshish yahi karta hu ki har bar har ek painting ko usi divar pe kitne naye tarike se rakhe jaye so you you get to see it again and again in a new uh, new uh, new way of looking at it right so yeah uh do come on 30th if you are around please i think i have shared the invite yeah, to you all right now i'm going to do a very small rapid fire with you where i want the first answer that comes to your mind quick answer right oh my god that's going to be tough <laughs> okay not, not too much of thinking but a quick response so describe your relationship with art in one word it's a serious affair two words okay you say that you like to make art uh, less intimidating and more approachable so how do you propose to do that uh, one of uh, okay that's an again it can't be no one but i'm really so but it's like uh, long back i said my life is uh, my painting is as empty as my life uh, but the why i said that because uh, uh, i i personally have stopped looking for any meaning in my own work so it's it's just like a road way it's like a way way forward to me my painting is a way forward to me i try to keep it to people as a way forward you come you look at it probably you find yourself in it or this thing 
so don't uh, don't look for meaning anymore and not even uh, i don't i've stopped looking for meaning in anyone's work now and that is making me more happier so in that uh, narrative i think i call it, it 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 should be more approachable i don't want to welcome someone with a set narratives on my wall that this painting means this so they already have a preset idea that's how the artist is functioning no the artist could function sometimes way beyond your imagination so just mingle with him get to know you know yeah. so that have you ever compromised with your ideals due to societal pressure yes i did you have i i, I did uh, in in college days yes i did and as a curator now five years don't. line no no now i i, I don't no, you at all you do it that is one of that was one of the reason after passing out of college i built for the foundation and i built the gallery i have never gone to any gallery although i mean that's just a, as a as a fact i'm telling when i was passing out you know gallery 7 came to me and you know the dj school of art annual exhibition they come up with a gold medal award this thing and uh, i i was getting it you know this thing uh, i don't know i'm not saying that i wanted to refuse that award but somehow Uh, it is such a great thing happened to me i'm telling you like i did not know even why i i said i don't want that uh, something is thing uh, happen and i think uh, in, you know kuch kuch cheez aapke sath hote hai some cosmic energy that pushes you towards something else so from there it happened uh, i said no i don't want it I, i want to do something i don't want any gallery but at the same time i had friends uh, you know my very close friend from my college i said let us build something in bombay you know and we were like losers you know just come out of college no money you know forget the parental wealth is different but we have nothing like you know no money how do you say you don't even imagine to have a gallery that in south bombay but it did work out you no know, like you know it it did work out everything you know it just that you know aap aap soch lo ek bar ho jata hai yaar aur sochne se kai zyada aap positively socho taakat lagao ho hi jata hai i mean i would recommend every young artist ke be true to yourself just have that push from inside you know you will have it you know there is nothing that nahi hoga hota hai sab cheez hota hai thoda work work lagta hai but hota hai how do you control your personal biases while selecting a work of art uh there is no i only work do work with people if i am comfortable but personal choices personal biases come into play no no that only comes in if i'm collecting art but not in the gallery space or not at the foundation space because uh, i think uh, that should not happen in any space uh, a, a foundation or a gallery is an open space should be open to any sorts of idea this thing uh, that is why i think uh, that helped me because and for that if one anyone is wanting to have that tip is start collecting artwork ab bhali 500 rupees se artwork khareedna shuru karo ab jitna jaldi ho sake na career mein art khareedna shuru karo i started collecting when i was in college much before college but those were not serious those were like buying a uh, nice object but uh, from college time i started buying artwork so the my buys choice has gone towards my own personal collection so if i uh, you know some day if i uh, am able to show in a space what is my personal collection Uh, that you may have lot of things like you know more to us abstract i mean uh, i've collected very strange you know these guys work uh, 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 ragu g ragu from bangalore extremely figurative work you know kind of mix between tribal and a very contemporary uh, i have raja ravi verma at the same time you know i have uh, manohar matre i, I have turiya groups work uh, very young. also i've got dipesh goes well. so my bias choice about painting or the art or goes for my personal collection but not in the space yeah. where i'm really trying to deal with artists or at least the fraternity you know okay what about a theme that you're next going to explore or probably you're waiting to explore <laughs> culture the cross pollination of culture happened uh, the migration migration can yeah, you like you know how like uh, just give me one second uh, and then just five minutes i'll finish that okay. so the <coughs> cross pollination of that thing like you know i come from the eastern part of india i came to bombay you know i have had friends who came from kerala so how people come from different area different regions and yet they try to build one thing in common that is art so that i refer as culture 
and exploring area maybe i am although i'm not really sure but i think i want to really uh, work something around the film and photography where it is coming that's something one area that i want to explore uh, as a uh, as a dialogue you know where it can be but maybe that could be an academic project not really essentially that someone as a uh, as a matter of fact you can collect the work okay i bought that film or no no nothing like that but something that i want to work between film and photography uh, could be my next interest but as a larger interest is culture so that's one of the reason i keep traveling like <laughs> to meet people <laughs> right right in fact this is something that uh, uh, we have been thinking of you know the last time we met we were telling you that we are renovating the gallery and very soon we are uh, going to be launching that a new space uh, with the effect that we are inviting curators to come in and uh, you know have a showcase with us so we want to give a platform to curators now instead of just artists so that's an open invite to you so if you if, want to like uh, uh, i would love to space sometime <laughs> and take up I the challenge love. you're most welcome <laughs> no i would love to come and i would invite all the artists in the frame to attempt something as a curatorial exercise because most of us are still living with an idea as a curator that it's also like a very dangerous word you no know, you become curator means you become like okay you have the good eye to select good art but meanwhile you have to have the good eye to select a lot many good things in life you no know? so i want all of them to sort of have it exercised well before they claim that's so, exactly where i'm coming to next what would you uh, say are the qualities of a curator that a person should have uh, this will especially uh, be helpful to artists and young uh, you know students who are aspiring to become artists so if they don't become very good artists if they come out of their field and they want to kind of explore curatorial practice what would be your advice to them what are the qualities that they should have or look for there are there, uh, there are many qualities and i think i would be the really wrong choice to give those qualities but at least one thing i would say you know if one really wants to be a curator that person uh, him uh, he or she or uh, they should have that uh, openness in their mind i mean you know you will receive uh, great to worst aapke paas sare tarah ke cheez aayenge you know you should have the patience to listen at least once what they are coming to you and why they are coming to you. if you are able to find these two things you no know, why and what you will find a way uh, having a set idea in mind okay i am a curator of abstraction or i am a curator of this could take you to a, lead you to a certain danger also because you know uh, change is the only constant you never know when what comes so should be open in their mind and have the patience to listen whatever it is mujhe bahut bar bahut sare matlab aise cheeze mujhe life mein mile jisme kuch nahi ho sakta but i think great thing worked out for me from there also uh, so i i it's I learning think, it's learning every day that is yeah. something that i think every artist has to be open to every student of art has to be open to that there is something new that he is going to gain every day so it's been yes. lovely talking to you gormani and i'm sure a lot of people have take taken small nuggets of wisdom away maybe in their own way from all the different oh, you have I said i hope so yeah. uh, if, hope uh, that, uh, my sincere apology if i have hurt someone then you want emotional sentiment or anything by <laughs> saying anything uh, so but yes uh, but i'm open please do come connect me on uh, very very you no know, it's easy to this this come okay. over and would look forward to meet you and uh, sir ma'am and sir to meet in person we we uh, will do we'll catch up sir uh, yeah. do come over as soon as we have we inaugurate the gallery we will let you know and please come definitely and look forward and meet even before that <laughs> oh, thank you Love. thank you shruti thank you for having me here thank you thank Bye. you so thank you everyone for being here and uh, spending time listening to us i hope that uh, the conversation has been helpful and uh, you have taken away some nuggets of wisdom from gormani ji thank you again for being here do check out our exhibition it's on at galleryprashak.com it's an online exhibition you will see various uh, disciplines right from figurative abstract still life graphic printing and portraiture 
you will see a variety and the price range is also small. It especially as Gormani very rightly said, and thank you Gormani for that uh, uh, injunction. It's an exhibition that has been uh, put together in order to cater to different tastes and different budgets. So do take a look and thank you once again. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.